Hey, how's it going everybody on YouTube? My name is JTech and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove Gmail lock from uh, ZTE N9521 and that's also known as Boost Max Plus. Uh, I found out the best method to do this so I'll show you right now. Um, by the way, this is my first video on YouTube. I would love it if you guys could show me some support by liking the video and subscribing to me for more content. Uh, let's get into it. As you guys can see, it has a Gmail account. Uh, next is not working. You can't. It's supposed to say skip, and you're supposed to sign in at this moment. Um, you go back. It doesn't take you back except to Boost Mobile. If you guys have this device, it's also it's a Boost Max Plus. It just came out, I believe, in August. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do: hold down the power button and turn off the device. And by the way guys, this doesn't require any computer, any OTG cable, any USB cable. It doesn't require anything at all. Quick and easy. I have also have the method for Samsung phones, for uh, HTC phones, and now ZTE phones. Um, I have different ways of doing it. So if you guys want to know any, any different phone, please let me know in the comment section below. So at this point, the phone is off. You want to hold down the volume down and the home button volume down home button and the power button for three seconds one second before the phone comes off okay guys I'm sorry about that at this point uh, the phone is off hold down uh, volume down home button and the power button hold the po keep holding down to everything except the uh, power button until you see the ZTE hold it down for three seconds and let it go just like so one two Three. Let go of the home power button, <clears throat> hold down to the volume and the home button together until you get to Android on the screen. Let me show you, make it closer like this. Okay, so now you want to scroll down. Let's see if I can get this auto focus on there. You want to scroll down to the third, the third option. It's uh, wipe data slash factory reset. I don't know why the camera is acting like this, but you want to scroll down to where it says yes, delete all user data. Okay, now it's doing it. That's how you know. It should show you in uh, at the bottom screen. There we go, that's a lot better. So now you also want to wipe cache partition. Okay, wipe cache complete. You want to press on the power button to reboot the device. And now we're going to let the device just reboot. At this point, all we can do is just wait. And like I mentioned, you guys don't need no computer. You don't need any computer, any OTG cable, any USB cable, memory drive, whatever. I'm sorry guys if I don't have this auto skip or something uh, going on or automatic forwarding. At the same point, it's I'm glad that I don't have that at the point uh, at this moment. <clears throat> Just in case, I'll show you guys everything step by step. I've also pre performed something like this on a Samsung Galaxy S5, Samsung Galaxy S6, Galaxy S6 Edge, and uh, an HTC Desire 626. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. Just let me guys know in the comment section below. I don't just do uh, unlocking uh, Gmail iCloud. We also do a lot of things. Okay, we can talk about that later. For now, you want to press agree. And you want to press yes. You want to press on accessibility. Okay, and then now where it says switch access, the second option, it's off. You want to press on that. Let me try to autofocus so I can be exactly perfect. Okay, so now you want to turn this on. You want to press OK to confirm it. You want to press on settings. Let's scroll down to the last one. It says key combo for recent apps. Press on that. And then at this point, you want to press the volume down. Sorry. 
Okay, now watch what happens on the screen. Volume down, and then now you want to press OK. Now it's confirmed. Okay, if you double press back, it's not going to take you back. So now, as soon as you press OK and you confirmed it right here, and then you press the down volume button, it'll take you right here. So at this point, even though if you close this, you'll still be right here. Anyways, you press OK, double back now. I want to show you guys that we still have the Gmail iCloud on there. So back, back twice. Now you want to press next, 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 clear. It's going to take you back to this page again. At this point, we're not done just yet. Let me sign in to our Wi Fi. Okay. Let's set the phone down a little bit because this might take a minute or two. Okay. There we go. Here we're asking about the Gmail. Okay, so now we already set this up to for recent apps. We want to press on that again, just one tap. You can accept this, you don't have to. Anyways, just like so. And then now you want to press on Google up there. And then over here you want to continue and skip for swipe. You can press back twice here. And then uh, you can press no thanks. Right here where you search, you don't have to do anything except just type in settings or just S-E-T. And the settings will pop up right there. You want to press on settings. You want to scroll down to backup and reset right here. Factory data reset. And then now you see what it says, your Google account. Reset phone. Erase everything, guys. Then now we're going to set the phone down for just a little bit, let it reset and reboot, come back up, and then after we won't have any Gmail lock. And like I was saying, guys, this is my first video for fixing phones. My day job is a technician. Um, if you guys need any help with any phone, any screen, Gmail, computer, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 10, anything has to do anything with, you know, any motherboard connected to it you can just let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely uh, upload a video about it and how to do it exactly the easiest way for you guys now we're just waiting for it and again guys please on your way out make sure you hit that like button rate that shit I don't care man <clears throat> We go, we're almost done. Guys, I'm sorry about the brightness if it's not that good or I'm I'm recording this off my phone. There we go. That's my name there. And that's what it says easy. <laughs> we're almost about done. If you guys doing on uh, this on uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 or whatsoever, and you guys need help, you can uh, with the Samsung you would have to get an OTG cable. That's the easiest, fastest way. You can pick that up at Walmart. It's like seven dollars, guys. But let me know if you guys want to do it, cause so I can upload the file for you guys, where you can just put it in a, uh, in a OTG cable, and then you can install it on the phone, and I'll show you exactly how. And that also includes a Samsung. Account reactivation lock thingy. Here we go. Now, just like before, agree. Yes, but now we don't have to press on accessibility. We're just gonna press next, next, next. And then we're gonna sign back in on Wi Fi. I can just hold the phone exactly like this, it'll be good for the rest of the video. Oh, 
right after this it'll just say skip the gmail account and we'll be done there we go software update and then now skip Okay, you guys see what it says skip right here at the bottom. Sign in to get the most out of your device, but we don't want to sign in at this point. Even though if you want to sign in with your email, just don't sign in yet. Skip this part, skip, and then next, skip, and then skip, more. Just go through the tutorial, now done. Okay, I might probably start downloading a couple of stuff from Boost, because this phone is active already. Just to confirm everything with you guys, we want to go to the settings right away. Make sure there's no Google account there. Now scroll down to where it says accounts. There we go. There's no Gmail account here whatsoever. And that's uh, done on a 5.1. Uh, just exit out of that real quick. That's done on a 5.1 model number N9521. Thank you guys so much. I really would uh, like you guys if you guys would go ahead and like this video. Subscribe for some more. Always ask if you guys need any help with anything. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. My name is J.O. Tech.